Now the following day and it was a bit of a rough night with Tommy. Keith stayed up with him, he let me go to sleep which was really nice but apparently he was up with him every 30 minutes to an hour and he had thrown up before I went to bed and then he threw up again in the night and he thrown up again this morning which is not nice. Um, they're over in the main house at the moment just so that Fraser can play because Fraser was getting really frustrated We're trying to keep him away from Tommy and away from everything else and We've got Tommy's bed in here because he didn't want to sleep in the bedroom He just wanted to be in the living room so but he slept down there but he's been sick on that so that's been um, stripped off and we obviously didn't want Fraser to get into that So yeah, it's not been great our plans obviously have changed for today. I think Keith will go out this afternoon and take Fraser to go and see his nan, um, Keith's nan, because she has met him, but he was quite a young baby at the time and will be seeing Keith's other nan um, in a couple of days time. So just thought while we we're down here, do that. Um, we were gonna all go this morning and then head into London, but we're definitely not gonna go into London now. So I just said, well, why doesn't Keith go? without me and Tommy, um, at least then Fraser can get out of the house and go and see Keith's nan. So that's what they're gonna do. But that's it really for today. We're gonna be chilling out. Hopefully Tommy won't be sick again, although he has been not so long ago. He hasn't eaten much in the last 24 hours. And we keep saying, do you want toast? Do you want banana? And the only thing he said yes to was one of these cereal bars. So I wasn't really keen to give it to him, but that's the only thing he said yes to. He's eaten half of that and has been sick since. He has been drinking lots of fluids at least. Joys of having a poorly baby. So just gonna be looking after him all day. Nothing interesting happening really. You okay, Tommy? You feeling poorly? Where are we? Are we at the hospital? Seeing doctor. Make you feel better. We've been down to A&E with Tommy. We called 111 and they advised we'd take him down there to see a doctor. They haven't found anything, like a lot of doctors when they don't find anything, send you away with a long list of things to do because they're just covering their backs. So basically they think he might have a viral stomach, viral stomach infection? Stomach yeah, virus? Just a anyway. Viral, viral infection. Anyway, they don't really know what it is, but just got to monitor what he eats over the next few days and just got to have liquids. He is fast asleep. Yeah, at the moment, he keeps waking up every 20 minutes, freaking out. He's just had a bit of a freak out and gone back to sleep. So we're not too sure what, the, what is wrong at the moment. His temperature seems to be down, but we're giving him Calpol to keep bringing it down. And he hasn't been sick since this afternoon. So yeah, he's just been a little bit poorly really. Sickness, temperature, complaining of stomach pains, complaining that his mouth's hurting but we're not too sure what that's to do with. Um, but he keeps complaining about his mouth but they said that his throat is clear so I'm not too sure. They said his ears are clear so it's not an ear infection. So yeah, fun and games. I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to move tonight because he keeps waking up freaking out and wanting me to be right there. Although, even though I'm right there, he's still freaking out. So I think it might be a case of me sleeping on the sofa next to him or on the a mattress on the floor next to him. Maybe. But I'm just hoping that he sleeps tonight so that hopefully tomorrow he can feel a bit more himself and eat something because he's probably starved. Well, he will be starving. He hasn't had anything to eat for the last day and a half, apart from a biscuit this evening, half a breakfast bar this morning, and then that was it from since yesterday morning. So, yeah, poor little baby. Can be quite worrying, really, can't it? <laughs> but when, you, when you don't have an answer, it's a bit worrying, particularly when they start seeming to be worse 
you don't know whether it's that point that you should be taking them in again but let's hope we all get a bit of sleep tonight but he's, yeah, he's asleep now and just hope that he stays asleep for a little while longer so that we can all get some rest so we've had a very rough night with Tommy again. Keith stayed up with him. Um, I don't think he got up quite as many times as he had the previous night, but he was waking up quite regularly. I, I could hear him. And there's a few times when I nearly got up to come in, but by the time I got myself up, he was back asleep. It was all quiet again. And then Fraser woke up at four o'clock this morning, which was not what we want, not needed or wanted. But yeah, Tommy's not well. He's not himself. He's not eating it properly in 24, 24 hours. No, 48 hours now. Yeah, it's 48 hours now, over 48 hours. He had a biscuit last night when he got in and that was fine. He hasn't been sick since three o'clock yesterday afternoon and it's now about 10.30ish. Yeah, quarter past 10. So he's not been sick for quite a long time. Um, so that's good but it's not want, wanting to eat yet. He, we found a big ulcer blister on the inside of his mouth because he's been complaining that his mouth's hurting, but also complaining that his tummy was hurting and we didn't really know what the connection was because we thought it was a tummy issue. Um, but we found at least one very big ulcer in his mouth and I think maybe another one further back. <coughs> further back. I can't see any more, but he won't let me look in his mouth that much. But that'll be why his mouth's hurting so much. So he's got some milk the doctor said he could have skimmed milk and just a really bland diet um, for the next few days but he's not wanting to eat at all he's saying his tummy's hurting but I think his tummy's hurting because he's so hungry but he doesn't understand that if he eats something he might feel better but hopefully he'll start to come around a little bit he's just got himself up he's been laid down on his bed um, all morning so hopefully he will start to feel a bit more himself and want to eat something so we're still nursing a very poor little boy. He just hasn't been eating. So I think that's the main problem now is that he's not eating. So he's so weak and tired and we're struggling to get him to drink as well. He has had something to eat today. He had almost a whole banana. I tried offering him some other things and he wasn't interested. He tried to eat some cereal, but then it hurt his mouth because he's got this massive ulcer in his mouth. And then Keith turned the cereal milk and some fruit into a smoothie. We thought that might work but he took one sip and decided he didn't want that. That would have been perfect because he could have sipped it through a straw and it wouldn't have affected his mouth because it's right on the crease on the inside that it's hurting him. Um, he's back asleep again on the sofa. Where is he? He has been awake today and there's been times when he's looked like he's on the mend like he looks like he's got energy back and starting to get better because he's been a bit cheeky but then he just isn't well again so i've just been trying to occupy myself he wants me to stay with him so i've just stayed with him all day luckily keith's mum has had fraser for a lot of the day Tom, um keith has now got fraser and he's taken him to the shops to go and get some bread and i've just been here um i've been trying to do some video editing but my computer's run out of memory, <laughs> so it's just typical. So I can't export anything, I can't, because I, I can't export it from the software, I can't upload it to YouTube. So at the moment, I'm not gonna have any videos for a couple of the days, so I'll see what happens. Um, I will upload them because I have made them, but because we're away from home there's not a lot I can do I'm trying to fix it I'm trying to do something but at the moment I've got my main priority is Tommy so if I can't fix it it means while we're away there'll be one or two videos that can't go live because I was planning to edit them while we were here which I have done I've edited them they're all ready to go but I just can't export them from the software so that's quite annoying um so yeah if there's a couple of days where there's no videos that's why there's not a lot I can do about it, but you'll just end up with two videos in one day, which is a lot, I know. I know even one video a day is a lot for people to watch, but I am doing my best. I just want to also say thank you to everyone for your kind comments. Obviously, when you're commenting on my videos, you won't, won't have seen this and don't know that I'm also dealing with a poorly child, so I've not been able to, to respond to your comments as quickly as I would have liked. But I am really, really grateful for them. 
and thank you for watching thank you for taking the time to watch because i know that december is so busy for a lot of people and so asking you to watch a video every single day is a lot for me to ask so i am grateful for those that have been watching even if it's only one video i am really really grateful for you taking the time to watch that so thank you and again thank you for your comments so i'm just sitting here hoping that i can fix this problem on the computer waiting for keith to come back and hoping that tommy will wake up and drink something because at the moment he hasn't really drank very much today so that is a worry I, i'm not as concerned about him not eating i'm more concerned about him not drinking because he'll get dehydrated and i've told him if he doesn't drink he'll go back to hospital but that hasn't worked he just he well he just fell back to sleep which isn't a good sign because if he's that lethargic it could be that he's so dehydrated so I'm going to try. He he drank loads overnight, so he, he has drank quite a bit in the last 24 hours, or even in the last 12 hours. But since we've been up, like properly up, he hasn't drank all that much. So I just need to work on getting him to drink something, because at the moment it's not very good. La la! Ha ha! Are you feeling better now, Tommy? Are you feeling better? Yeah, I think you are. Are you stuck? Hee hee. Hee hee. 